protests continuing outside Brett Kavanaugh's home the same day an armed man was arrested nearby, telling police he planned to kill the Supreme Court justice. Nicholas Roski from California turned himself in, telling police he had suicidal thoughts. In the 26-year-old's possession were, amongst other things, a Glock 17 with two magazines and ammunition. He didn't just have a gun. It's zip tie. There are crazy people out there. We need to protect our justices. He told officers he was upset over the leaked draft of an opinion suggesting the Supreme Court was going to overturn Roe v. Wade. This is exactly the kind of event that many worried the unhinged, reckless, apocalyptic rhetoric from prominent figures toward the court could make more likely. I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. I believe Chuck Schumer bears some responsibility because he has contributed to this atmosphere of directly attacking me members by name of the Supreme Court. You won't know what hit you. Following the leak of the Supreme Court draft opinion on Roe v. Wade, Mr. Schumer said peaceful protests outside the justices' homes was OK, which was also the Biden White House position. Peaceful protest is not extreme. But others disagree. You can express yourself, exercise your First Amendment rights, but to go after them in their homes, to do anything of a threatening nature, and certainly anything violent, is absolutely reprehensible. You don't care if people die! Since then, protests have continued in the suburban Washington neighborhoods where the justices live. And while as individuals they receive personal protection, which has been enhanced since the leak. Last month, I accelerated uh, the protection of all the justices' residences 24-7. Their families don't. And Justice Amy Coney Barrett has school-aged children. House Democrats have spent weeks blocking blocking the measure that passed here unanimously related to security for Supreme Court justices. It was May 10th that the Senate passed legislation to enhance police protection for the justices and their families, but already it was clear there was a problem. Senator John Cornyn is saying that House Democrats are slow walking police security for the justices at their homes. Why? because they don't think they have the votes on their side of the aisle with certain members who don't want to vote for protection for Supreme Court justices. And let's be very clear, it's just for the six Republican justices on the Supreme Court. Another week passed. Then a reporter asked Nancy Pelosi if she supported the Supreme Court Police Parity Act. I think that any need for protection should relate to whatever threat that is there. And that's a judgment that is made by our law enforcement people. Earlier this week, Attorney General Merrick Garland met with federal judge Esther Salas. Her family became the target of a disgruntled litigant back in 2020, which resulted in her son being shot and killed. These threats are real. My boy is, and his death, is a, a testament to what will happen if we do not do something. I'm very concerned, and I think it's time for us to pass the bill. Today, it's been a full month since the Senate bill was passed, and a man has been arrested claiming he was planning to kill Brett Kavanaugh. Does the House Speaker now recognize the threat? Nobody is in danger over the weekend because uh, of our not having a bill. Thank you.